Hello friends, good morning, welcome to Lug Life. Uh, happy Tuesday. It was a very, very rainy uh, and windy night last night. My gosh, we had a storm blow through Anchorage and fortunately it did not bring snow. However, snow is in the forecast for the next couple of days, so we may see winter arrive uh, here in Anchorage. But for now, no snow and actually, I'm okay with that. Uh, Sherry and I are both getting up and ready for work today. Family left a couple nights ago, so we've had uh, the last day or so back by ourselves at home. Had an amazing trip with them. It was just so great. We'll talk a little bit more about that later in the vlog, but we need to get up and going to work. You can see the morning sky starting to light up still. Kind of dark this morning though. As I'm in the kitchen getting ready, I want to show you guys this. This is super cool. One of you uh, sent this to us. It actually arrived yesterday and I think it fits perfect right there on the stove. Um, also, she sent her favorite Bath & Body Works candle, so thank you so much. We absolutely loved it and loved the letter hearing from you as well. So, how nice is that? But now, we need lunch. So last night for dinner, we had lasagna. So I'm gonna take the leftover lasagna for lunch. Sherry's gonna take some Asian chopped salad for lunch. And then we both have oatmeal at our offices that we're gonna have. So oatmeal for breakfast, and then leftovers for me, salad for Sherry Beth for lunch. Then I think tonight, uh, I went shopping yesterday and got stuff for dinner. So I think tonight we're gonna bake a ham with potatoes and corn. Doesn't that sound just like super comforting? And as the well, as winter approaches, uh, comfort food just feels more and more appropriate. You can see the temperature outside today is 39 degrees, so actually not too bad. It was like 54 last night. The wind blew in some warm weather. Sherry Beth has decided to stop and get coffee on her way to work today, so getting her coffee cup for her. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Not bad. Um, you didn't sleep great. I felt like I was a member of the U.S. gymnastics team all night long. <laughs> I woke up at one point and your feet were by my head. I had flopped. <laughs> I was like, okay. And then I like flopped back and then mm -hmm. I like flopped side to side. Mm -hmm. I don't know what was going on with me last night. I'm sorry. It's I okay. I woke up when you flopped, but it didn't keep me awake. So. Well, I'm very thankful it didn't keep you awake. <laughs> all right, we've got all of our stuff on the stairs, ready to go. But Sherry, we need to show them something. Yeah. This weekend with family, we went out to um, Black Birch Books yes, we did. in Wasilla, mm -hmm. and you saw something. I almost fell down the stairs <laughs> and died. <laughs> I saw uh, you saw something that you wanted mm -hmm. that wasn't books. That wasn't books. What'd you get? I got poison apple earrings, and they glow in the dark. You see how cool those are? I love them. I love them. Our HOA came by the other day and raked leaves into piles. And then there was a huge windstorm and the piles got blown around everywhere. Whoops. All right, meeting slash errand number one today. And you might say, Adam, why are you at the mall for a meeting? Well, one of my team members needs a new work phone. So starting the day uh, at the AT&T store. Oh, the mall is having a spooky selfie contest. Ooh. And I'm actually here before the store opens because my thought was if I could be first in line, maybe this would be a quick stop and I could get to the office. That worked perfectly. It took like 15 minutes and that is done. Now, on to the office. Getting there 10 minutes early probably saved a half an hour because by the time we were done in there, there was probably three or four other people waiting uh, to be helped. So getting there early, being the first in line, was able to make this project ah, be done quickly, which I needed it to. So it is about 10 after 10. No. Yes, it's 10 after 10. That was like 10 minutes it took. Well, that's awesome. Okay to the office. Heading into the office for the day. So I will pick you guys up in um, in a few hours when meetings are over. Well, hello friends. It is several hours later and I am home from work. I actually beat Sherry home. Um, she'll be home in a little while, but I thought that I would use the time that I'm here uh, to get some stuff done before she gets home. The first thing I wanna get done is washing some of our big blankets. Now, let me show you. We have three of these blankets. Uh, these are from Anthropology. Some of you will remember a few years ago we discovered them and 
all-time, all-time favorite blanket. So this one is gonna go in the washer, but last night I washed this one. This is the one that is in our guest room. And what we do to keep like the softness is we wash it and then hang it here over the um, like the shower curtain thing in the guest bathroom. And then when it dries, just kind of like run your hand over it and it makes it all perfectly soft. So this one is done. I have two more of those to wash. Because the thought is winter is on its way and winter is peak blanket season. So uh, heading into winter, we just wanna get all of our big blankets um, washed. So we have that anthropology blanket I just saw you, like the kind of off-white one, that lives in the guest room. This pink one that I showed you first is Sherry's on her chair. And then we have a third one that I will wash as well. Um, and then I'm going to gather like other big blankets from around the house that we may use through the winter and just ensure that going into the winter, all of our blankets are washed and ready to go. Got some laundry pods in there. Now we are just going to toss this one in there. And then I don't dry it at all. Like I don't put it in the dryer. Uh, I will just wash it and then put it over the, um, the shower curtain. So let's... Bedding and bulky is what I want. Hour and 11 minutes. Good to go. And then look at that. The blanket in the guest room is all washed and clean. And when we had family visiting this last weekend, uh, one of our nephews, the 18 year old, the oldest nephew, actually did end up staying here with us. Um, the Airbnb they booked had uh, a little bit different sleeping arrangements than uh, they had expected from the website. And so it worked out perfect because the Airbnb was like across the street. And so one of our nephews just stayed here. So got the room all clean after his stay, got towels washed, bedding washed, and uh, the first of three anthropology blankets washed. And I wanna show you one more thing before Sherry gets home that I'm really excited about. And some of you, not all of you, some of you will be excited about as well. Um, many of you will know that during COVID, I actually started my own, like, uh, sorry, there was a fuzzy on the camera and it totally distracted me. Anyway, uh, you will know I started a beard oil company and uh, we've done several launches. You guys have always supported it so well. Uh, it's now carried in shops here in Alaska and keeping up with like orders from the shops and just life, I haven't been able to offer it directly to you guys in, well, way too long. That changes today because Look at this. I have about 18 bottles of beard oil ready to go. Uh, it is currently on the website. You can see I've got the Susitna, which is like the original cedar wood, like the cedar forest smell. I've got the Matanuska, which is warm vanilla. Think of like a vanilla sugar cookie. Oh, it's so good. And then over here, I have the Denali, which is like the spice and citrus, so like an orange clove. Those are the three cents and uh, they are now live on the website. So if you're looking for beard oil, uh, the website is Cash Creek Beard. It's C-A-C-H-E-C-R-E-E-K beard.com. I will also link it down below. If you're looking for maybe a Christmas gift for dad, uh, maybe there's a birthday coming up, just a hey there handsome man, you have an amazing beard gift because those should be things, uh, you can go check out the website again. I'll link it down below. Um, sorry to all of our international viewers. You guys, international shipping is not yet available. Still trying to figure that out. That is not as easy to figure out as I wish. Um, however, all three of those scents now available over on the Cash Creek website. So if you're looking for beard oil, go, 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 and get it right now. Again, the link down below. Look who's home. Me. Hi. I feel like the only time you've been on the vlog today is standing right there on the ledge. <laughs> Sherry had a piece of mail delivered today from an Etsy shop that she ordered something from. Oh my goodness. They're little ghosties. Little ghost earrings. Oh my gosh. Um, your Halloween spooky season earring collection is... Impressive. It is impressive. You're very blurry, but that's okay. You're still cute. Getting better. Yeah, definitely getting better. Those are really fun. And I wanted to show you this, um, the candle holder that I showed you this morning, I lit a candle in it and look how good it looks. I love it. Also wanted to show you guys the view at the living room. Um, you can see leaves off the trees for sure. And there is snow in the mountains. It's still not as far down as I expected it to be. Like snow up top, but the base of the mountain still not covered in snow. Very strange. All right, Sherry, how was work today? 
yeah. quiet. Yeah. Very quiet. So we reached the time of the year where all of the seasonal people are gone and um, the building that I'm in is me and my superintendent. <laughs> <laughs> and when he's traveling, it's just me. So uh, literally the only person in the entire building. So um, it's very quiet, which means that I can get a lot of work done. Because you work best in that kind of environment. I work best in my own space, yeah. Gosh, I, I if I was the only one in a building, I would end up getting in trouble because I would just wander the whole building and be like, hello, <laughs> are there people here? So um, I did start out the day in like the main building and checked our mailbox and that kind of stuff, but um, moved over to my building and got a bunch of work done. And yeah, it's, it's nice being the only person, but it's also boring. The only person. <laughs> Definitely a sign that the, the season in Alaska has changed. Yes, for sure. I just heard the washing machine go off. So the pink anthropology blanket is all washed. Time to go hang it up to dry. This isn't the easiest, but I just kind of take the corners and then just like ugh, throw it over. Something like that. And then, it's good enough. And I will say, it smells so nice and clean. I'm glad that I'm cleaning all of our blankets before winter. Next up, we got this big old blanket. Um, I think Jessica Violet actually got us this one. Uh, not an anthropology blanket, but going to wash it and dry it the same way. I wanna show you an addiction that I brought home from Seattle. Um, Bryson bought this for the Airbnb when we were all together in Seattle. It's this Stoke cold brew, but it's the uh, peppermint mocha. And oh my gosh, I love cold brew. And I just fell in love with it down there. So I bought two bottles of it. And yes, it is 5 p.m., but I'm still gonna have a glass of uh, peppermint mocha cold brew. All right, obviously we're not in the house anymore. We're leaving the house to run one errand. I need a coat. Yeah. Here's the thing. I need exactly what Sherry has. <laughs> a little puffer jacket. I want like a little puffer jacket. Um, I have big winter coats and I have like thin rain, like raincoat windbreakers. I don't have a good between season coat, which is where we're at now. That's what this is. Like it's a, it's a puffer jacket on like this part, but like the sleeves themselves are not, it's kind of a little lighter. So that's what I need. I need a light jacket. So um, we're gonna go to Duluth Trading Company. Mm -hmm. I feel like they'll have what we're looking for. The problem is, will they have what I want in a price I wanna pay? <laughs> well. So. Let's go take a look. All right, we've arrived at Duluth Trading, but we've decided to not go in there first because right next to Duluth Trading is Goodwill. I'm sure, we wanted to go into Goodwill anyway, and we figure let's go there first because if they have a jacket for me, I'd much rather pay Goodwill prices than Duluth Trading prices. Also, you guys, Texas Roadhouse is right there, and as soon as we got out of the Jeep, it just like smelled so good. Now I want to go there for dinner, dang it. <laughs> well, we are not looking at jackets for me. We're looking at cardigans for Sherry to start with. Because yes, jacket season, also cardigan season. I think we have found two cardigans for Sherry Bath so far. Maybe we can talk her into a fashion show when we get home so we can see them. I love them both, but I really like this one with like the pockets. Oh, Sherry just got excited about one. Maybe we have three. Well, we're definitely not in the market for these, but you guys look at this. With like the little buffalo plaid pants. She pockets. What does somebody who wears that size even need pockets for? What are you storing in there? No, there's not, they're not actual pockets. Snacks? Oh my gosh. Those are so cute. All right, now we're looking through jackets. One of my favorite is when you find old like Letterman jackets. I don't even know what that is. That's very soft. Uh, so they do have this. This is kind of what I'm looking for, but it's like one size too small. So the search continues. You guys, it's coming Christmas. Well, that stop was a success for Sherry. And hopefully Duluth is gonna be a success for me. I love the store so much. There's like a thousand things here I want. All right, so we found one definite maybe. Um, <laughs> definitely. It's a definite maybe. It's black puffer jacket. I feel like black's the way to go because black kind of goes with anything I wear. 
Yes, you're worried about the price. I'm worried about the price. I don't think it's that much because this is the coat that you're gonna probably wear more than like your light jackets and your big heavy jackets. You I, probably need something in between because you rarely actually need like your big jacket. I would wear my big jacket if it was like 20 below or more right. and we were outside for a long time. I feel like something like this is what you're gonna wear. Most, most of the winter, winter. I agree. So I don't think it's that expensive. Uh, let's keep looking. <laughs> You never make a decision at Duluth Trading without going to the clearance room first because they have so many good deals in here sometimes. And why pay full price if you can get it for cheaper? Okay, what do you think? So there's nothing in the clearance section. No. Yes, I is. think this is the winner. You think it's the winner? I think so. I think it fits you well. It's kind of that in-between, like, not so thick that you can't wear it all the time, but not so thin that you can't wear it all the time. I think that's going to be a good one. It is comfortable. Yep. I gotta say, I do like it a lot. Yeah. And I said I wanted a puffer jacket. Yep. Is this the winner? I think it is. What do you think? You have to say you like it. I mean, I do like it. I just... Don't like the price. I don't love the price. Here's the thing. The whole store is 30% off. Right. So it is 30% off. Which, which is a hefty amount. Which is a hefty amount. The only thing I like is that everything I've gotten from Duluth before always lasts really well. Yes, it does. So I do like that. <laughs> I think this is it. I think so too. All right, listen, I'm not going to get it. <laughs> it's a little bit too short. If it was perfect, I'd spend the money. But it's a little bit too short. If they had it in tall, it'd be great for me. Or if I wasn't so tall. So if two things could happen, if they could have it in tall, or if I could shrink. Um, I just, I feel like if you're going to spend the money for something, like that kind of money, you do want it to be like what you want. Yeah, I agree with that. And this is like 85% of what I want. So we're going to go to Cabela's. All right, here we go. I'm feeling it, Sherry. Cabela's is going to have it, okay? Okay. Please have it. Here's the thing I like about our Cabela's. Um, moose and significantly more beluga whales than the last store we were at. I mean, come on, look how cool this store is. I love our Cabela's. I'll love it even more if they have the kind of jacket I'm looking for. I think I found it. It's a Columbia puffer jacket and it fits perfect. Here's the problem. It's a little bit more expensive than the last place, but this jacket is way better. Like, I like this so much more. Now, we have decisions. I've got on the solid black one. They've got it with like, the maroon, the blue, the gray. Looks like over here they've got some like, tan color, goldish. I think I like the black too. I feel like the black is the most versatile. It's more than I wanted to spend. Me, what would you say? If it was you, that's totally different, Sherry. Not different. All right, so I do think this one I found is gonna be the winner, but I just wanna look through one more time, make sure there's not a cheaper option, <laughs> even though Sherry's gonna yell at me if I keep saying that I don't wanna spend money on myself. I just stopped and Sherry just said, look at my face. What'd you say? I said you were worth whatever we need to spend to get you a good coat. Blah. <laughs> Look at the store, you guys. Polar bears, brown bears, mountain goats. You got like a whole aquarium area back over there. We were heading out and we found candles. Do they smell good? Oh, smell it. Holy crap, it smells amazing. And their little mugs. Look at that. They have like a ton of candles here. Never. Never would have been on my candle list. Oh my gosh, I need that Christmas ornament. Yeah. Okay, we might need to get that one. Right? It's amazing. Yeah. I also would never, what? They have like a whole Christmas ornament section? What? Do we just never come here? I mean. I feel like we don't come to Cabela's often. Not often enough, I guess. This is amazing. Okay, just hear me out. Well, let's say we buy a couple ornaments and then yeah, um, the this weekend we put up the tree. Nope. That's a maybe. Nope. Maybe. Well, I hated everything about that. I'm very proud of you. Thank it's you. It's very difficult for you to spend money on yourself. Yep. To do anything for yourself. 
I want to go to an ATM and get $120. Guess how much the jacket was? $120. I want to get $120 of cash out and give it to you. Just, <laughs> oh my God. just so I feel, I feel so bad. You were ridiculous. Oh. You would have spent so much more than that on me. Exactly, and that's way more fun than that. Here's the thing I will say. Um, the jacket's exactly what I was looking for. Yeah. Like the it felt better than the jacket over at um, Duluth. Mm -hmm. It was just. I think that's exactly what you're looking for. It's exactly what I was looking for. You just didn't like the price point. But again, Correct. if it was me who needed that jacket, you wouldn't have thought twice about spending that. <laughs> That's exactly correct. I know. Ah, uh, but I got my jacket, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> Here's the thing. Very I was proud of you. <laughs> thank you. I was thinking earlier, I was like, you know what? Maybe we should just go out to eat. It's already after, it's like 6 30 p.m. We should just grab food while we're out. After spending $120 on a jacket, there ain't no way we're spending money on dinner. We're going home. Let's go home and make a ham. <laughs> you can see the sun is setting. We got the clouds over there with a little bit of pink on them above the mountains. It's fashion show time. <laughs> Um, so you wanted cardigans for what? I mostly just wear them when I'm like lounging around the house because I'm always cold. Yeah. Um, but I don't like to sleep in long sleeves, so I sleep in like t-shirts. And then when I'm just around the house, I like to wear sweaters. I love that one. That's one you got? That's one of them. Good choice. Thank you. And the next one, this was the one I was the most excited about. I like this one a lot. It's got pockets. I love that one. I feel like that's the kind of thing. I feel like you could wear that one out. Actually, I feel like you could wear both of them out. Yeah. Yeah, they're really great. Um, are those what you're looking for? Yes. Success. Yes. And it's dinner time. Cherry leg. You just did it. It's different when I do it. <laughs> um, ham, pineapples. This is going to get baked in the oven for half an hour. So it's a fully cooked ham. Just you can see like spiral sliced already, which is nice. So we're gonna get that going. With the ham, also doing corn and mashed potatoes. Uh, classic American dinner tonight. Very much looking forward to it. Uh, ham is in the oven and corn is over here ready. Potatoes will be ready here in just a little bit. So I'll show you all of it when we're done. But I wanted to tell you, um, while I was draining the corn, I realized how thankful I am for something that happened this weekend. So, a brother-in-law, Eric, was here, and he's super handy, like super, super handy. And while he was here, mentioned that our garbage disposal is out. It's been out for like more than a month, maybe two months, and we just, with all of our travel, with things we've had going on with life, haven't had time to have somebody come over and fix it. If I tried to change our garbage disposal, our house would end up blowing up. I don't know how, but our house would blow up. Uh, and Eric was like, oh, I can fix that. And he like one morning, actually Sunday morning, while we were kind of hanging out, I was watching the Seahawks game. He just like went and got this stuff and just fixed it. And we have a whole new garbage disposal. And I am so thankful for people who like use their abilities to help others because we were very much the um, benefactor of that. So Eric, thank you. Um, and we have a brand new garbage disposal, which we are, well, again, it's another sign that you're getting older when a new garbage disposal makes you very happy, but this new garbage disposal makes us very happy. Sherry Beth, I just told them about Eric fixing our garbage disposal, mm -hmm. which was very nice. Yes. Uh, haven't talked to you about family's trip here. Oh, it was so good. Yeah. I, I mean, I love my family. Um, and these were some of my favorite parts of our family. <laughs> so it was just so much fun to like hang out with them and chat with our nephews and our oldest nephew actually ended up staying here with us. Mm -hmm. and, um, the rest of them stayed in an Airbnb, and it was so good. We got to just kind of hang out, watch some shows, yep. went and did some things, had some adventures, had yep. lots of great food. It was fantastic. It was Real. a great trip. Short, but great. I did want to show you guys, I actually got this for my birthday from a good friend of ours. Um, it's one of those, like, bookshelf things where all of these books are, like tiny tiny they're so cute it's not focusing but um i actually had them semi arranged and then i left this whole thing on the floor <laughs> upright and adam vacuumed and accidentally knocked it over because he didn't see it because it was kind of like on the other side of the table and so they all kind of fell but this is really fun this is actually the book that i'm oh i just dropped it that i'm currently reading and I love that there's actually that book in here. You can't see it, it's not gonna focus, it's too little, but it's A Discovery of Witches, um, which I'm thoroughly enjoying. So 
anyway, I just thought that was, it's so fun, it's so cute, and I love kind of arranging all of the books. Um, it wasn't fully arranged when I left it on the floor to be destroyed, so I will redo them, but it's a really fun little thing to have. All right, dinner's done. You can see I got the ham, pineapple, got the corn, potatoes. Mm -hmm. Looks delicious. Time to dish up. Sherry Beth, that's a pretty darn delicious looking plate. Yes, it is. Dinner's done. Now we've started the process of cleaning up. Sherry Beth's gonna empty the dishwasher. It's all clean. I'm going to take care of the leftover food. We got pineapples in here. And you can see we got a whole bunch of ham left. So mm. we're gonna save that because that will be delicious as ham sandwiches, maybe ham and eggs for breakfast. Lots of ways we can use that. What I decided to do is keep half of the ham in slices for like sandwiches, charcuterie, that kind of stuff. And then I diced up the other half so that we can mix it with like some scrambled eggs for like a ham, egg and cheese scramble for breakfast. So there we go. We're gonna get lots more meals out of the ham, yeah. which is actually one of the reasons I like doing ham. I agree. Ta-da, just like that, kitchen is clean. Thank you, Sherry, got the dishes going. Now I actually wanna show you guys the blanket thing I was talking about earlier. So I don't know if you can see it, but it looks sort of matted. And all you have to do, look at that, is just like go over it some. Oh, still got a bit of a wet spot there. But all the areas that have dried, it just gets so like soft. So once this dries, it's a little bit wet, it will all look like this. Oh, love it. So I'm gonna let this continue to dry overnight and then I will fluff it all out and then another blanket, done. And this other blanket is also finished. Mm -hmm. How about that? Three of our big blankets in the house. Nice and clean before the winter starts. Oh. Well friends, there you go. A random Tuesday here in the Leg household. Uh, both of us working today bring you guys along for what that looked like. And then our evening, got the jacket I was looking for. Remember, as I talked about earlier, beard oil, now on sale, link down below. Uh, go pick up some bottles. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have more beard oil before the year's over. So this is like it through the end of the year, I think. That may change, but my plan as of now, this is it. So go pick that up. Um, overall, a good day. Sherry, a good day? I thought so too. Uh, it's nice to be settling back in our routine after the Seattle trip, after family visiting, um, having kind of the house just back and our routine back is always really nice. It's fun to travel, fun to have people visit, but it is nice just to have home back. You guys know what I mean? So friends, we love you and we will see you on the next Lug Life video.